The last straw for Marie Collins, a refusal to even acknowledge receipt of a letter to show basic respect to the letter writers, in this case, survivors of abuse in the Catholic Church. A refusal to even concede, yes, we read your words, we hear you. Apparently that was too much for some within the hierarchy of the church, which turned a blind eye, denied and covered up for decades the sexual abuse of thousands of children around the world by priests and bishops. And Marie Collins, the lone abuse survivor remaining on the papal commission set up to protect minors, resigned last week in frustration over this. And what she said is the church's, quote, shameful resistance to implement other changes approved by Pope Francis himself including accountability for bishops such as Boston's own former cardinal, Bernard Law, who aided and abetted abusive priests. Now, it may be heartening to some that Cardinal Sean O'Malley, who chairs the Papal Commission, praised Collins as an extraordinary contributor. In a statement, he said he shares her concerns and frustrations. But if he really is offended by Vatican stonewalling, maybe he should resign from the panel, too. SNAP, the survivor network for those abused by priests, long ago lost faith in the church's ability to police itself. The cardinal overseeing the Vatican office on abuse coldly told in an interview, it's really too much to expect his office to deal with all the letters from, quote, all the dioceses and religious orders in the world. And a year after Spotlight won a Best Picture Academy Award for telling the story of Globe reporters and survivors exposing the abuse crisis in Boston, the church remains laser-like and unrelenting in its focus on fighting gays, birth control, divorced Catholics, and abortion. But it drags its feet on cleaning up its own house. Marie Collins was 13 years old when a Catholic chaplain photographed her in sexual poses when she was a patient in a Catholic hospital. Fifty-seven years later, she is still fighting and waiting for justice. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.